Abby here and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. So today we are doing the Theater Veteris, which means old theater in in uh, in Latin. So at least I, I think it does. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we started out doing the shell here and I posted a teaser on my Twitter. Uh, page so if you don't follow me there go follow me there's a link in the description down below where I post a lot of teasers uh, questions for you guys try to really interact with you guys as well uh, and, and with the community so go follow me on there and uh, yeah I posted a little teaser photo of what not the finished version but what it was kind of going to look like inside the theater uh, main theater uh, and I think it turned out really awesome so you guys kind of saw the first section of the um, of the theater here in the intro video and I think it turned out really good so I was going for this old style theater and I took a lot of inspiration from uh, old school European architecture as well as and I'm gonna say this again, but as well as the Assassin's Creed Syndicate game. And I know that a lot of you guys have watched my Pirate Town video as well, where I also said I took a lot of inspiration from uh, an Assassin's Creed game in that one. And I just love Assassin's Creed. It's probably one of my favorite game franchises. And the way that they recreate historical buildings in those games are truly amazing to me so I wanted to try and and do something very similar here uh, and again taking a lot of inspiration from different styles uh, European old school styles and and definitely also the theater um, in the Assassin's Creed game where there kind of is this section where you're supposed to to go into a burning theater and then afterwards escape it because you need to kill somebody in there uh, and I just love the way that that looked so I was trying to not so much recreate it but really get that vibe so seeing that this is a sims game I wanted to also um, introduce somewhat of a modern aspect to it so this is probably mostly inspired by theaters like the ones you would see on Broadway and and theaters like that when we go to the interior because there is a lot of modern stuff going on also in the front here so I was just pulling out all of the stuff that I knew I wanted to use so a lot of it is from the get famous and vintage glamour stuff uh, just because they fit so well with the overall scheme here um, and what I actually went ahead and did was I was trying to, you know, keep it super classy but still have that modern edge to it. So we have some modern lighting and the uh, behind the scenes place is also very modern looking. The interest is somewhat of a nice mixture between modern and old school looking yeah I'm getting a, a bit sniffly here I, I don't know if you can hear it but uh, the sniffles are back yeah it's very cold here in Denmark but I was trying to really recreate that feeling of a old school theater in the 21st century um, which I, I think we really achieved here 
So, again, you guys know me, I'm all over the place, I'm building stuff, and then I'm like, no, that doesn't really go well with me, it doesn't look too good. Uh, so I keep changing a lot of stuff here, and it is a very long video, but I actually did cut out quite a lot of stuff that you're just not gonna see me do. Uh, I did try to show you guys most of the stuff, because I know a lot of you guys actually appreciate seeing how I'm doing stuff and how certain things was done but um, yeah I mean at at this point I was just working on the exterior with a lot of detailing uh, and it kind of took me a little back to doing the train station which I did recently uh, which has a lot of the same design elements in it uh, but I wasn't trying to so much copy that uh, but I wanted to, again, keep that aesthetics because in my head, those types of buildings are kind of the same. Um, but yeah, I'm all over the place here. Uh, I was trying to find some fencing railing type of thing for the top here. So we could kind of make a feature out of that as well because we are using the most amount of levels and heights that we can actually have in this build. Um, so I needed to, to make it look really gorgeous and fit in well. I wanted to know, I always knew I wanted to have a roofing piece on top here. And we're also going to introduce that into the rest of the build later on. Um, because, I don't know, I feel like a flat roof back in those day would, days would just be kind of unheard of. Uh, there would always be kind of like a slope because they needed to lead the water away from, you know, from the building. Um, so I chose to have like this very small roof, but still sloping, so you could still see that there was a roof from certain angles, but when you look at it from, look at it from down uh, on the street level, you're not a actually able to see what's going on down there. So this is where I moved inside and um, yeah I decided to you know throw in these instead and have like this grand entrance instead and have the main doors kind of hidden behind this because I thought that was a, uh, a nicer idea than what I intentionally wanted it to have have going on. I, I thought I could scale those up, but um, yeah, it didn't work, so <laughs> I was just gonna keep them the way that they are, and um, yeah, okay, so here I'm, I'm trying to, I wanted to have a grander staircase, and you saw that in the beginning as well, that I was trying to fiddle around, around with the terrain tools. But seeing that the terrain tools, I know they, they came an update today actually, uh, but that was before I actually started doing this build. Uh, and the terrain tools have just been giving me hell. Uh, so the staircases, once you use the terrain tool, it's all over the place. Uh, some of the uh, walls not showing up and the staircase disappearing and it was just uh, I, I didn't really want to introduce the terrain tools into this build uh, I am working on a uh, Christmas Santa workshop village type of build for the Christmas build uh, which I do every year which is going to have terrain tools now that the uh, patch is here and hopefully fixes some of that stuff but in this build, I didn't want to introduce it. I just wanted it to be a flat, plain surface and uh, kind of make it look as beautiful as I could. So, finding a lot for this build was actually really hard because I was originally looking to Del Sol Valley because that's where I thought this type of build would, you know, flourish the most. But I actually found that the lots in Dulcel Valley, especially in the downtown area, as they call it, were so small. I mean, the community lots there, the lot sizes were so small that I couldn't actually fit it in because I knew I needed to have a certain 
size for this build and and you can kind of see it already just the stage aspect of it feels so much and there's so many chairs i wanted it to be a really grand big looking place and doing that required a really big lot uh so this is not the biggest lot i believe it's a 50 by 50 which is the second biggest lot but i also knew that i wouldn't be needing a uh, 64 by 64 lot so i went with this and we are actually in the willow creek and i really liked how how this lot looked um with the entrance and the uh lead up from the what should we call it uh, from the streets and kind of have like this half arch going in i really thought that was really nice so uh, yeah that's the reason why i chose this i started throwing in some lights here and again this is also from the get famous expansion pack and i knew that this stage and uh theater room would consist of two floors so one floor with the seating are, is on the bottom and of course that is a split level floor because it always is, uh, at least in my, in my uh, experience. And then I wanted to have the upstairs here, kind of like this big balcony as you usually see. And I wanted to have some of the rooms be closed in, uh, kind of like for the more VIP people uh that would use use this these rooms and they also have a bit more of a fancy chair to them so it's kind of like that extra bit of special um and this is very close to when i actually took the teaser photo for my twitter channel or twitter page and um i think i thought at that point it looked really good uh, so I started to do the the overall, like, what can we call it, scaping, landscaping, uh, interior layout of what I wanted this to look like. So this third balcony that we have on the top here is actually going to be the um, studio, quote unquote, studio maintenance place where we would have control over what lighting is going on, what's going on on the scene, because I thought that would the, was the best place for the technicians and producers and whatever needs to be out there to actually be. Um, definitely the best place because they have the best view of the stage. So I placed them on top, we're going downstairs here and yeah, this is again one of those times where the staircases for some reason just decided not to work. So we started doing the chairs here and I was looking for some chairs that I thought would fit very well into it. I knew I wanted them to be red and I was just trying to find the center here. Uh, I initially went for these stairs but they just, I don't know, I would have spent so much so much time actually getting these chairs to uh, sit closer together that I decided to go with this other one, this really basic one. Um, it is from the base game, so that's a good thing. I also wanted to have a bit more space between the chairs down here in the front than I did in the rest of the theater because this is the kind of VIP places in my opinion. Uh, the best seats in the house is in right directly in the front of the stage when it comes to theater. Um, but yeah, I decided to go with these chairs just because they actually fit in better. And, and looked a bit more theater-ish than, than the other ones. So, yeah, we decided to go with those, putting in lots of M MS. And as you can see at this point, there's a lot of chairs going on. And I actually also noticed that when I did the outro, um, kind of like outro video thing where you guys get a video overview of what's going on because I know you guys like that a bit more than these screenshots 
Um, but I noticed there's some of the chairs because there's so much stuff in there. I'm like, I believe there's about two or three hundred chairs um, just in the theater itself. So some of them did disappear, but they're still all there, even though you see them disappear from time to time. And it, I, I like, I think it's only happening once you do the uh, press tap to actually watch in that view. Otherwise, they just stay there so that's kind of good um, so everything is there but just just uh, yeah there's a lot of chairs going on so at this point I had went back into the theater itself to actually place curtains on all the walls and lighting fixtures and kind of fixing up some of the decorations as well so I wanted it to be very theater like I also went in to change the uh, light color and the intensity of the lights so that we had a bit more of a uh, dimmed down realistic version um, and uh, yeah so this is the entrance I wanted to have a big bar area right when you walked in so this is in my head where initially I wanted to have a great big entrance like a big hallway entrance uh, with a big staircase but seeing that uh, this is just such a big build in the first place and we were actually running out of space on the lot as well I decided to go with a bit more of a turned down uh, version of that so you just enter right into the bar area you can get yourself a drink uh, and and you know get into the theater and uh, yeah, find your seat and, and start to enjoy the show. So I thought this was the best way to do it. The bar area in the front. And then we have, of course, like small seating areas around the place and decorations and the wardrobe that you just saw me build a little while ago. I'm also going to do a toilet section, which is going to be off camera because I honestly forgot it. I know that you guys said in the train station build that I did that you wanted to have like it was missing a a toilet a, a bathroom section so I put it in afterwards because I honestly forgot about it totally makes sense to put it in now and I'm sorry if I'm sounding so sniffly and sick but I'm just I'm not even kidding it's so cold here in in Denmark at the moment and it's ridiculous and after the Christmas party last time. Oh yeah, so I didn't say that. But uh, when I did sim talks with Fry and Frankie. The night before I was at my work with all of my work people. Um, colleagues at a Christmas party. And it was really good. It was so much fun. But I... Yeah, I got a little drunk. And sick from being outside the whole night uh, because it's so cold so yeah i know it's my own fault but uh yes it's just the way that it is it was really fun though so no regrets there um so at this point we have pretty much done what we can do in the front here i'm still gonna come back and edit some edit some things throw in some things you know we're gonna throw on these pol posters on the wall here uh, from the Get Famous, which I thought was a really cool idea. Uh, so in my head, the theater would kind of promote all of its shows and also have the uh, posters from the previous shows as well. So you could kind of see what was going on. Um, I am also going to go in the back and you're going to see that create the backstage where we actually created a little... Um, VIP star room uh, for the main star of the show and I put in that poster in her room as well which I thought was really fun um, but yeah lots of lighting I chose these lighting from the get famous as well and we talked about this in the sim talks podcast which you should definitely go check out here on the channel 
but we talked about that the items that came with this pack, and I know I've talked about this before, it's very specific items. It's for a very specific type of player and a very specific build. So I wanted to use a lot of the items in this type of build because I thought they fit really well with the overall scheme of a old school theater. Um, so yeah, that's what I decided to do and I needed to have some staircases go upstairs. I'm gonna like edit this in just a little bit and actually pull them together so they are one staircase uh, to one of the sides instead of being two separates because as we go upstairs here you can kind of see it just didn't make sense I was trying to work around it but there just wasn't enough space up here for me to do anything with it so I decided to go downstairs again fix it up and um, yeah, we replaced the placing of the entrances into the balcony uh, seats and replaced uh, the downstairs here, moved the entrances as well into the downstairs theater hall. And uh, yeah, this is where the build really started to come together. So at this point, I was... Um, Oh, I did show the bathroom. Okay. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> but yeah, I was really inspired by these old school bathrooms. I was going to talk about this, but honestly, when if I showed it being built, it's really good. So outside here, again, I'm adding a lot of features here because there is a lot of me just keep adding small bits to the side because I needed more space to actually work with. So the oh, I didn't show it. I just did the room for it. So the bathroom is consistent of three toilets and sinks, as well as these little powder um, vanity. What is it called? Vanity um, tables. And we of course have a little feature uh, table chair thing going on in the middle of it. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, in the backstage, you just saw me place a lot of these props that also came with the Get Famous expansion pack. And I thought, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a theater, but they have these huge, like insanely huge props on wheels. And like most of the times they are on wheels, but sometimes they are connected to the ceiling as well so they can actually pull them back and forth when the scene is changing and i thought those type of props with the fake buildings like fronts and all that kind of stuff would actually work as as something like that so that's why i decided to do that and i changed these uh, green screens in the back to a kind of more nice looking uh, wooden forest theme so it would look really great once we actually see the stage from the front so this is the backstage area which was really fun to do um, I wanted to have the VIP star room in in the corner there but it's the only one so you know it's for one person and then I wanted to have these makeup get ready stand things where you could kind of have your makeup done and uh, get ready for your next scene or whatever it might be which I, I again I think it turned out really nice there's a lot of really good stuff from the the, this expansion pack for this specific purpose and I'm actually starting a let's play which is called to the spotlights which again follows Holly Gillard um, from the previous let's play that we just ended that and the pets uh, on her journey to becoming a famous actor so definitely go check that out once the first episode will be out and, um, but yeah, we just put in a lot of like mixing stuff, uh, computer stuff, kind of like things I can see go 
in to a place like this and of course I wanted to have a little nice entrance area because this is a theater after all it's not a cage but again lots of clothing racks and stuff like that just to make it look really nice and good going into the stars room here um, I again wanted to have this vanity table thing I'm not actually sure what it's called I hope I'm saying the right word but I wanted to have her own place here and again as I said before the poster over the mirror from the show that she is performing you could definitely change this into anything else so we have a lot of uh, shoe racks as well nice little stuff carpets just you know her own little room where she can get ready in this kind of like I would imagine posters from her previous work that she has done in the theater um, again a lot of clothing and then I put in these lights uh, which would kind of go off when the stage is being used and people are using it so this is where we moved into the VIP rooms I decided to throw in some more uh, upscale chairs in here just to make it look a bit better um, I would have wanted to put in some more detailing but the space here was just not the biggest um, and I still wanted your sim to actually be able to move around into these spaces so the chairs are better we put in some curtains for privacy and I don't know if you guys have ever watched the Anastasia animated uh, cartoon which is probably one of my favorites ever but there was like this point where they went to the theater because Anna wanted to meet her grandma which turned out to be her real grandma but the way that they showed the theater there was just so good and I was kind of inspired by that I again I wanted to have maybe put in a bit more detailing but the space just wasn't there so um, it is what it is now and we're going to go into the screenshots in a very short while here so I'm just doing the last curtains and some last detailing before we actually go into the screenshots but uh, yeah tell me down below what you guys thought of the build and uh, if this is something you would use because you can definitely use it in your get famous let's play or builds or worlds whatever you want to do so this is the entrance right when you walked in we have this beautiful marble flooring and again this mixture of styles between this very classical uh, 19th century style mixed with this modern style which I thought looked really good and I'm so happy about how this turned out the wardrobe going into the theater itself with all of these chairs you can see the stage here looking beautiful and you can see downstairs there's cameras everywhere and it's just overall a really good vibe I'm getting for this this is kind of where the chairs glitched out in this mode but it doesn't do that in the you know in the live mode when you're not using this camera so don't worry about that um, again another shot from the stage here I really wanted to show off the grandness of the stage so you guys could get a feel for how big it actually was and just how many I would imagine would be here to watch a stage and of course from the stage moving out so you could see the whole theater itself and going down into the rest of it remember if you want to get this build it is on the gallery right now so just search my origin ID which is how we should be able to find every single build I have done or check the link in the description down below uh, there's a link to the gallery browser page where you can also get the build if you so desire to and while you're down in the description why not go to my twitter page and follow me there and uh, let's start a conversation and again while you're already down there tell me in the comment section below what you thought about this build how do you like it because i spent a very long time on it and i think it turned out really awesome i personally think i really captured the vibe of 
everything here which I so much enjoy so it's so good um, but tell me down below what you thought about it comment this video like it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and uh, yeah Merry Christmas and happy holidays and there's nothing really else for me to say other than thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you next time for another video.